Do you ever have trouble sleeping? You feel fatigued often, low energy? Muscle cramping or that annoying eyelid? Muscle twitching? Ugh. That one is frustrating. Ever wonder why? A study out of Notre Dame cited that 75% of people are not getting enough of a nutrient that is directly related to these symptoms. And when you don't have enough of it, you can suffer greatly. In fact, every organ in our body requires it. Stick around because I'm about to tell you what I'm talking about foods you can eat to fix it, and the best supplement to add to your diet. If you implement what I suggest, I guarantee you will feel more energized, sleep better, and be stronger. Chris here, registered nurse, certified clinical nurse leader with my focus being research. So what is this essential nutrient I'm talking about? Magnesium. Yep, magnesium. If you are low in magnesium, you might have issues sleeping or even insomnia. You may have muscle cramps, muscle twitching, chronic low energy, and maybe just be in a bad mood. Sometimes the symptoms can be super subtle and you'll have no idea the problem is hypomagnesemia. If any of this rings true to you, you won't want to miss this. As I mentioned, magnesium is extremely important and one reason is because it makes up part of over 350 enzymes. For these enzymes to function, magnesium must be present. Pretty easy to understand why you might be depleted, right? We use so much of it. Males require about 400 to 420 milligrams of magnesium per day, while females need about 310 to 360 milligrams per day. One of the challenges with getting enough magnesium is that it comes from leafy greens and veggies, something most of us just don't get enough of. Guilty, right here. To give you an idea of how much leafy greens you need to consume to get your daily intake of magnesium, it's about seven cups of salad. That's a lot of roughage. So I already mentioned one reason magnesium is so important, but let's get into the minutia because when you really understand the connection of low magnesium to symptoms you experience, you might realize, hey, I have some of those subtle symptoms. Then you have the knowledge to do something about it. But before I do, if you like what you heard so far, be sure to drop me a like and subscribe the triggers the YouTube algorithm so this information can be sent out to more people. I'd greatly appreciate it. Okay, let's talk about fatigue first because it is the number one symptom of low magnesium and something most of us probably deal with at one time or another. The fatigue we feel has to do with all those 350 enzymes I just mentioned that operate in all our organs. Most of those enzymes pertain to the functioning of our mitochondria. The mitochondria are the powerhouses of our cells. They create energy or ATP. Without the necessary enzymes to support your mitochondria, they do not produce energy, thus leaving you feeling fatigued. Also important, are you familiar with the sodium potassium pump? Its main function is to pump sodium ions out of cells and potassium ions into the cell. This sodium potassium concentration relationship is critical to stabilizing our cell membrane and for our neurons to fire signals. I know, kind of complicated, just know it is important. Magnesium is critical because it provides the energy for the pump to function. Without it, the pump does not pump and it shuts down. This is why you get cramps, but can also be why something more serious like a heart arrhythmia is present. And do you ever have issues with insomnia? Research has shown that magnesium plays a big role in our sleep. The mechanism is not entirely clear, but it is thought that magnesium helps you relax by interacting with certain neurotransmitters, decreasing cortisol levels, and increasing melatonin. You may be having trouble sleeping because you are magnesium deficient. A research study out of the Sleep Foundation found that study participants taking magnesium supplementation, approximately 500 milligrams daily for eight weeks, were able to fall asleep faster, stay asleep longer, had reduced nighttime awakenings, and increased their levels of naturally circulating melatonin compared to the control group. That is a pretty amazing result. Another important function, we need magnesium to make DNA and RNA plays an integral role in the structure of nucleic acids and affects their interactions with proteins. In addition, it is required for DNA replication, transcription into RNA, and translation into protein. Also extremely important, its relationship with vitamin D. Vitamin D plays many different roles in the body, such as helping the body absorb and retain calcium and phosphorus, which are nutrients our body needs for building and maintaining healthy bones. Vitamin D also supports a healthy immune system to fight off bacteria and viruses, reduce cancer cell growth, and reduce inflammation. These are all very important functions. Guess what? Magnesium assists in the activation of vitamin D. All of the enzymes that metabolize vitamin D require magnesium. And without it, vitamin D does not get activated. 
So I don't know, I don't think I need to get into any more detail about how important magnesium is. I think you understand how important it is and that we get enough of it in our diets or supplementation. Now on to the solutions, how to fix this issue. Here's something important to know, something you can change right now, to slow the rate of magnesium depletion. There are certain foods we eat that deplete our magnesium levels, which include eating too many refined foods, especially fructose. Drinking alcohol also depletes your magnesium levels. So try to avoid these things. And besides leafy greens, here are some other food items to add to your diet to increase your magnesium intake. First, pumpkin seeds. In one ounce, there is 168 milligrams. Almond, one ounce is 80 milligrams. Cashews, one ounce, 74 milligrams. And peanuts, a quarter a cup, gets you about 63 milligrams. It is just too difficult to get daily magnesium requirements through your food intake. For me, at least. You may need to supplement. Because as I stated before, the amount of greens needed per day is about seven cups. That's a lot. Most of the time, I can't do it. So I decided to supplement magnesium. And I was having noticeable cramping and annoying muscle twitching. It's the reason why. I even noticed some weird heart rhythm stuff happening, but not entirely sure it was connected to the low mag levels. But since, since I starting supplementation, I have had no issues with the symptoms I describe. This is what I take, magnesium glyconate. I buy this product from a company called Purely Holistic. They do not sponsor or pay me for mentioning their product. I chose this product because my neighbor, who is an exercise enthusiast to the fullest and listens to a lot of wonderful health coaches, she recommended this product, so I bought it. The reason I take glyconate is because magnesium is formed with an essential amino acid called glycine, which makes the compound highly bioavailable meaning easily absorbed in the small bowel. Well, that's about it. If you're like me, you experience cramping, muscle twitching, or even some weird beating in your heart, you may be low in magnesium. In fact, it's likely you are considering the majority of the population is deficient. Well, that's about it. If you're like me, you experience cramping, muscle twitching, or even some weird beating in your heart, you may be low in magnesium. In fact, it is likely you're considering the majority of the population is deficient and how difficult it is to get an adequate amount in our diets. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and comment down below. I love connecting with my audience one-on-one. -on -one. Nurse Chris out.